Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and today we're gonna to take a look at a highly anticipated update that finally happened to one of Samsung applications, and it's called the Galaxy Enhanced X. Now, for those of you that love editing photos, taking photos, and also videos, this is a AI-powered editing tool that can do both of those, pictures as well as video. So there's some editing things that you're now finally able to do that you were not able to do from before. And I, say, I state highly anticipated only because this has been talked about for the last month or two of all these brand new things that you can do, and it wasn't pushed out until just yesterday. So starting November 16th, you're able to download this up update and some of the things that they added in was you can now have single take after the fact you have long exposure slow-mo and it actually looks a little bit more crisp than the regular stock gallery application if you move something into slow-mo it seems to kind of stutter and not be that great this one keeps it super smooth you can remove reflections you can fix blur you have a sky guide so if you take a picture of the sky and you see the stars it'll actually show you everything that is listed and labeled you can fix things with face and portrait and you can also restore pictures so there's a lot of really nice things that you can do. So how you're able to edit things with the Galaxy Enhanced app, instead of doing it through the gallery, just open up Galaxy Enhanced X and then through here you can select your photos and videos. So you just basically select it. Now to make it simple and easy for this video, we're going to make it pretty simple and quick and I just selected four things. So when it comes down to, let's say a picture, you have this very first option. It's kind of like a little magic option. So this is where it can do some fixes and some changes, maybe add in some HDR. You can also do a 24 time or 24 hour time lapse. It's going to kind of make the image or video look as if there was, you know, a time lapse of 24 hours, which would make it kind of light, dark, light again. So you can see that it's kind of doing, uh, you know, a little bit of a darkness. You had the sunset. Now it's super dark. It's midnight. Now it's the sunrise. And so you can turn that photo into a video. You also have this option here, which you can do brighten. You can also do HDR. And let's say that you do HDR. Then through here, you can you, you know move your little slider on whichever one you think is best. Now HDR sometimes just kind of overblows things. So I'm not a huge fan of this one, but you can choose how dramatic that little effect is. So if you wanted to bring it down, you're able to, and then you can just move your slider left and right to make any of those different you know changes. You have this little bandage here, so you can actually remove shadows, remove reflection. So there's a reflection that is right there. So we're gonna go through and remove that and you're able to see the before as well as the after. So taking a look at the before and after, so here you can see that little reflection and now it's gone. So you can have a much better image of whatever you're taking a picture of. So this is a good example to show you that you can remove reflections off of images. And so let's say that this is something that you do like, then you can just basically hit on done. And so now that, uh, you know, reflection is now, you know, out of the way of this photo, you can also clean lens, you can fix blur. So if there was a blur in this image, you can try to fix it. You have sharpen, you have so many different things. If there was a face in here, you can do some of these, but they are deselected because there is no face that is really, you know, found in this picture. You can do that 24 hour time lapse. You can also, you know, do something with, with a single take. So if this one was a shorter video, I'd be able to do the single take option after the fact, which is a really cool thing. And if it was the sky, then you'd be able to see the whole sky guide, which I'll show you here in a second. And once you find it, you like everything, you can hit on save, and then now it's saved inside of your gallery. Now let's say that we go on back and let's take a look at another option. So let's go into a video. So when it comes down to the video, let me turn this one down. I'm gonna select the option of slow-mo. So this one is gonna have a different setup than what photos are. Photos will have way more options of all these different tools you can use. Videos will have a little bit less, but this slow-mo option is so much better than the one that was inside the gallery. So as you watch it here, this one is in slow-mo. They put it at one half the speed. And so instead of it being at you know 18 seconds, it's at 35. Now this is what it looks like inside of the Galaxy Enhance X application. You can see it's pretty smooth and especially if you're watching it, you know, with your own human eyes rather than a camera and a screen, the wheels are super smooth when it comes through this. Then if I go inside of my gallery and I take a look at this, let's say we go here, let's say we go here and then I go to edit. And then with this one, it does go a little bit quicker uh, to do the editing process. But if I make it go slower and I take a look at it, you see how it's kind of choppy and it's not really looking all that great. This is kind of how it would come off as the edit. So I'm just letting you know that yes, there was some of these from before, but the Galaxy Enhance X app 
does a much better, much better job, especially when it comes down into slow-mo. You can see kind of how slow and choppy that is. And then when you take a look at this one here, that it is slower, um, but it's just a much smoother video experience. Now let's take a look at a night shot. So this is one where I took a photo. It was astrophotography. So you can see the star sitting right there. Now, a fun thing that you can do here is you can do sky guides. So now after the fact you took the photo, then you can have a whole bunch of things show up that you can take a look at. So if you want to see what all the constellations are and you can even change the, the label. So if you only want the name of the stars, then you're able to have the name of the stars. So then you can actually zoom in and you can actually see what they are. So some of them actually has names, some of them don't. And you can take a look at nebulas and clusters. And so if you want to take a look at that, then you can just hit on done. And then uh, if you wanted to have all of them, you can actually do all of them. So that's like a little uh, nebula or a cluster. There's another one sitting right there. And then if you want every single thing to be, a, you know, to be a part of that, you have constellation stars and then the nebulas and, cl and clusters. Now you can go through and you can take a look at every single thing. Everything is all listed and then you can save this as an image and you can either like it or dislike it. And then it just goes through the feedback. And if this is something that is a filter or AI tool that is either liked or disliked, and you just go through and now you can hit on save. And so now you have that one saved as well. You can throw in magic. You can also do 24 hour time lapse. For magic, let's see what they do. Sometimes it makes a big difference. Sometimes it doesn't make a big difference. So here's the before and then here's the after. So all they really did was kind of lightened up the background, but it does allow for more stars to be shown. So this is the before and you can see that there are some stars there that's actually hard to see. And now you can actually see all of them sitting right there, especially in this little cluster area. So yeah, if you wanted to see more of the stars a little bit brighter, then you can actually have this one be done through magic and then you can hit on done and you can hit on save and then you can have that one stored as well. And then lastly, let's take a look at just one more. And with this one, you can do the magic button. So it's probably gonna do either HDR or sharpen it or bring in more colors. And you just see, you know, whichever one is the best option. You can do 24 hour time lapse again. So again, it's a way that you can see what that area or that view looks like. You know, if it was in the morning time, daytime, nighttime with the sunrise, the sunset. And then this way, if you wanna set up maybe a future shot, then you can have a really good, you know, image or idea of what it would look like if it's better for you know morning or night for that image and again you have all these different other options you have brighten you have hdr you can remove shadows reflections clean the lens if it was a portrait of somebody's face right there there's a bunch of different options you can do here with portrait as well as face when it comes down to portrait you know you can do some highlight things you can also turn it into a portrait shot if it wasn't portrait already and then some of the magic things, which not too much will happen here other than the 24 hour time lapse. And then you can also transform it, increase resolution and fix lens distortion. So yeah, this is a really nice application. If you've actually never seen or heard of it from before, it's an application you can get off of the Galaxy Store. It's called Galaxy Enhance X. So you can just find it right over here inside the Galaxy Store. It was updated just yesterday. On the very top right hand side, just search for Galaxy Enhance X and you're gonna be seeing it right there. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.